Well, what's everybody? My name is Scott Waters, and welcome to the Life to Metal. It's time for a big edition of the Mail. That's right. Time for the Mail. And this edition of the Mail is brought to you by my good friend Greg the Egg or Blackmore Rules on YouTube. And here's the box. It is gigantic. I mean, it is a big box, and I haven't opened it yet, so I have my handy knife. And we're going to cut into this sucker and find out what's in here. <clears throat> He's got this thing well taped with duct tape. So, yeah, this is a very well taped. I mean, this thing is big and heavy. Ugh. So I have no freaking clue what is in here. All right. right. I'm going to put this on the ground because it's too big for me to sit here and hold it. All right. First of all, okay, I've said this before in other Greg the Egg videos. He finds hockey stuff out there in Canada, which I live in New Mexico, and hockey stuff doesn't pop up here at all. And uh, so he sends me all kinds of jerseys and stuff, especially youth stuff, and I donate it to the local hockey club or I give it to my grandson who is a hockey player and that kind of thing. But here is a Anaheim Ducks, or back then they were, I guess, the Mighty Ducks when this jersey was, was made. Um, they are the rivals of my LA Kings, so I'm not a big fan. <laughs> but my my really good friend Bill Baffert is. So, all right, there's a uh, a magazine in here which I'll put to the side. <laughs> Anybody remember this magazine back in the day? Tiger Beat. This would have been, this had to be the 70s, right? 1979, yeah, you got Sean Cassidy. Uh, gosh, I don't even remember all these guys. That's Leaf, Sean Cassidy, that's Leaf Garrett over here. Um, gosh, I can't remember all these guys' names. <laughs> uh, I don't remember them all, but yeah, I was never into that whole Hollywood Hollywood scene back then. Uh, the only time I would buy something like Tiger Beat would have been if, like, uh, every once in a while, Ralph Macchio, that's what that's what this dude's name is. Anyhow, um, I wouldn't really probably buy these if, like, Kiss was on the cover or something like that, because I was just a huge Kiss fan back back in 79. All right. This is uh, another jersey, and this is his team. And they did pretty good this year. They made the playoffs. But So, the Canucks, unfortunately, they didn't get far in the playoffs. I would have rooted for them to win the playoffs had they got that far. But they did not. Then we've got uh, an itty bitty little jersey. Oh, itty bitty little Flyers jersey. That's cool. Flyers hockey jersey. All right, it's actually a Don Jersey shirt, but it's like a, a silky material. I can't. Let's see what size this thing is. Looks like a medium or something, but I can't tell. But anyhow. This will get this will get good use, if not by me, by somebody in my family. <laughs> so, ah, this one looks like it's more my size, and this one it definitely would get will be worn by me. Flyers hockey. I am a big Flyers fan. LA Kings and Flyers, two teams teams I I root for, I cheer for. I've been a fan of the been a fan of the Flyers since I was a kid because I grew up in the you know the I grew up in New Jersey, but. When I was growing up in New Jersey, there was no Devils, and I was into all the Philadelphia teams, so, you know, the 76ers and and the Flyers and whatnot, and uh, I, we used to go to games. I was a Boy Scout back then, and we used to take the, the troops to games. We went to see hockey games and basketball games, and we went to see the baseball games. We never went to see a football game, but we, we saw lots of other games, so, anyhow, this is the uh, Toronto Blue Bombers or the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is a child's jersey, so this will be being donated to the local hockey club. And what is this? Oh my goodness. This is about the coolest jacket ever. This is a, a hoodie. And it is Saxon hoodie. Check that out. That's awesome. That's killer, dude. I love that. <laughs> that will definitely get worn by me. Uh, um, oddly enough, I've got a, 
package that I've been putting together. It's not quite done yet, but uh, I've got a nice little pile of shirts here for him as well. So, man, there's a lot of shirts in this package. All right, another another shirt. This one is inside out. So I can't tell you what it is yet. Now I can. This is oh right on. This is cool too. Genesis. And this is a classic old school Genesis logo. It looks like a brand new shirt and it's got that real thin soft material that's awesome for the summertime. So that's awesome. Alright. More shirts. More shirt action as Greg would say. Usually I have music on in the background while I'm doing this but not today because I don't know. Just because I didn't feel like it I guess. <laughs> This is a Airborne World Tour 2022 tour shirt. Of course, Airborne being an Australian hard rock heavy metal band with big ACDC like qualities. Whoops. That didn't work out too well. Just had an avalanche of t shirts. All right. Oh my gosh, dude. This is a lot of t shirts. This one is purple. Jimi Hendrix, Purple Haze, baby? I don't know. Just guessing. Well, dang. Was I right or was I right? Jimi Hendrix Fender shirt and purple haze. <laughs> That's awesome. And it looks like there is one more. Oh, oh, nope, there's more than one. This is a, a hoodie too. Oh yeah, this one will get worn. Uh, you know, I might have to trade in them. I might have to trade in my Saxon one for this one. Because I mean, this one is the bomb. If I can just get the. It's inside out, so I'm trying to get it right side out. <laughs> Come on. Almost there. <laughs> All right. Ready? Here it is. Da 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 da. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. You know what? As much as I'm sure he sent it as a joke, I, I'd be willing to bet that my. Uh, my my wife and my daughter might actually wear that, so <laughs> we'll see. All right, and then there's one more, um, and this looks like like what is this? Oh, these, <laughs> these are penguin pants. <laughs> That's hilarious. Penguin pajama pants, and that's funny. Like I said. Not a big Penguins fan. Not a big... I mean, like I said, I'm a Flyers fan, so, you know, the Penguins are, I mean, the polar opposite. So I'm not a big fan of them, as I'm not a big fan of the Ducks. So being that they're both L.A. hockey teams. All right, now now we're getting into the what's in here. There's. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm disappearing off the camera, but the thing's on the floor. So we've got a box set. Transmission Impossible. Cheap Trick Legendary Box Set. Broadcast from the 70s into the 90s. So this looks to be like... It is... It, uh, I have a few of these things. And I don't have this one, surprisingly. But here is... On Top of the World, 1978 broadcast. 78, that would have been right around the time of uh, Live at Budokan came out. And just before um, Dream Police came out. So... They were probably playing a few Dream Police songs. If not, then it might have been a little earlier than that. Nope, no Dream Police songs on there. This one here is 1979, which would have been the Dream Police tour. And this is Las Vegas, 1995. So, um, looks like, I don't know, I can't, I didn't look at the discs, but it looks like it's at least three discs, if, if not more. And I love Cheap Trick. I've been a Cheap Trick fan since I was a kid, literally a kid in, in the 70s. Um, so this is fantastic I, I love stuff like this so all right and we've got a uh, promo plus pressing of kiss shout it out loud wow this is a uh, mono stereo on the Casablanca label uh, it's funny you don't I don't find many of these um, you know these kiss um, pressings like this especially uh, the promo pressings you find certain ones you know that are um, the regular songs, you know, especially the, the more popular songs, like I find Calling Dr. Love singles all the time from Kiss um, in record stores and, and whatnot, but you don't just never see these promo um, radio pressings, so 
Yeah, shout it out loud, kiss. I, I can't tell. I'm going to have to look under a microscope because it's the type is way too small. I'm actually, maybe I can see it here. Let's see here. Manufactured, distributed by Casablanca Records, Filmworks. Nope, this is a U.S. pressing. Yep, U.S. pressing. So there you go. Shout it out loud promo. That's awesome. Oh, right on. Right out. Then there's another one right here. Another kiss one. This is an early one. This is um, got the blue uh, Neil Bogart label, and this is also shout it out loud. Backed with sweet pain. My sweet pain is driving me insane. I love I love Kiss. I'm just a fanatic. I have been again since I was a kid. Kind of like Cheap Trick. And I love 7-inch singles. I've been a collector forever, and I just continue to collect them, and my collection is getting ridiculous. This is... Gordy. This is Gordy. All because of you. Uh, backed with... There's a sticker on this side, which I'll try to carefully peel off here. Carefully, carefully, carefully peel it off. I can't even see the name of the song because the sticker's on it. Um... Almost there, and I got it. All right, so this is Anna Just Like a Woman from uh, Gordy. So there you go. Seven is single of Gordy. G-E-O-R-D-I-E. -E. I don't know that I, I... I don't know that I've even heard these songs before. I don't think I have. I'm not... I mean, it's not that I don't like that band. I just don't... I'm not well-versed in them, so... Oh, and then we've got a Cheap Trick. This is The Flame and Through the Night. Picture Sleeve. And... Manufactured by CBS Canada. So this is a Canadian pressing. On the Blue Epic label. Of course, The Flame was a huge hit for Cheap Trick. Um, kind of outside of the normal, you know, hard rock stuff they did. More of a... You know, of a ballad, but... Still... And another one from Cheap Trick, and, and this is definitely a uh, Canadian pressing, and this is a promo from, what is this, this is a 1980, if everything works, if you let it, is it single-sided? Yeah, it's a single-sided promo single, um, for everything works, if you let it. Of course, that was um, the one album that was produced by Beatles producer George Martin. Um, but yeah, see, there's nothing on the back. White label, no grooves. So I don't think I've ever seen this one before, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, and it is in the um, Canadian CBS sleeve, which again is not one that pop up here very often. Usually those orange sleeves say epic on them when you see them around here. And then we've got one of my all-time favorite vocalists and bands. This is Gillen. Gillen the band, Living for the City, and Breaking Chains, which is a great song on the B-side. Uh, I'm going to guess this is a UK pressing, because it looks like it to me. On the Virgin label. UK pressing, yep. 19, I'm going to say 198. And I can't read, I can't see it. It looks like 1981, 82, somewhere in that area. But this is when Gillen switched from Ian Gillen Band, which would have been his... Um, Jazz influenced rock band, jazz fusion rock band, to Gillen, which was just straightforward heavy metal hard rock band, very much in the vein of what was going on in the New Wave of British heavy metal back in the early 80s. So, yeah, I love Gillen, so very cool. Uh, there's some more seven inch singles in here. I love these things. <laughs> uh, I, I just love seven inch singles, they're so much fun for me. Um, this is Nazareth, Broken Down Angel, and Witch Doctor Woman. And this is uh, Status Quo Rain and the Lost. Two Lost the Love. Is that what it says? Yeah, You Lost the Love. That's definitely the wrong sleeve. Um, it belongs to the Vertigo sleeve, but that's that Warner Brothers sleeve is another one that doesn't pop up here very often. And then we've got one, two more of these. So we've oh, this is nice. UFO Mechanics backed with. Um, See, so back into my life, back with the writer. And it's a picture sleeve. You can see the picture there and there. UFO. That was post-Shanker error. 
still great. Uh, I love the 80s stuff from Shanker, I mean, from UFO, despite the fact that, you know, Michael Shanker was no longer there. And then we've got um, White Snake standing in the shadow and All for Nothing, the American mix, which would have been a John Sykes era White Snake. This looks to me like maybe a UK pressing. It's on a Liberty label, so chances are it's, it is. Um, produced by Martin Birch. And I don't see where it was pressed at. Um, manufactured, probably did manufactured. Nope, can't see. Anyhow, I'm, it's pretty sure it, it's a UK pressing. And then finally, it was a short summer, Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, my buddy Bill Bafford actually collects um, Disney and Charlie Brown singles and, and records, stuff like that. So if I don't keep it for my own grandsons, I may pass it on to him. All right, there's a couple of uh, there's some books in here, which I'm going to grab next. Looks like some vinyl in there, and there's something on the bottom. I can't tell what's on the bottom. So this is um, definite, the Definitive Rock Classic with new photographs and updated material, The Hammer of the God, Led Zeppelin um, Saga. You know, I read The Hammer of the Gods way back when. I mean, gosh, I don't remember being a stick. So this, this set, it does say um, updated material, so I, I'm sure it... I, I mean, I must have been in, like, high school or college when I read this originally, so I, it'll be a good read again, especially if it's got new stuff in it and new photos and stuff. There's also a little bookmarker in here, which is a King's... Little itty bitty king's pennant, <laughs> so that's cool. Then we've got another book I've never seen before: Black Sabbath Band, Life and Time with Black Sabbath. Who's it by? I don't know. I don't know who it's by. Usually the author's name is right on the cover or on the inside, and I don't even see it. So I'm a little bit confused on this one, but there it is: Black Sabbath Band, Life and Time with Black Sabbath. Interesting. And... Ah, the Glenn Hughes story. Um, forward by Lars Ulrich. That's awesome. Glenn Hughes, of course, who, you know, he's still around, he's still making great music, um, but, I mean, his claim to fame came... Well, was, he, he, he's, he came big in Deep Purple, but he was in other bands before... And after, you know, um, among others, his own solo band, which has released tons of great stuff. But he's worked with Tony Iommi. He was in Black Sabbath for a spell. Um, so, yeah, he's been in all kinds of different bands. Um, so this should, be, this should be a great read. And then finally, this one looks to be Deep Purple. The Road of Golden Dust, The Deep Purple Story, 1968 to 1976. And, of course, Blackmore Rules being the definitive... Deep Purple fan and collector, and that's the name of his channel. So definitely look him up on YouTube. Okay, so there's still some more in here. Oh, there's another t-shirt that got moved to the side. I didn't see it because the box is big and it was black, and the shirt is black. So we've got it. This looks like a Skinner shirt. Leonard Skinner, Freebird, 1973. That's a cool shirt. That's awesome. And then, oh, what do we got here? Some vinyl. Okay, so we have, oh, dude, that next one is awesome. But this one is cool, too. This is um, a, the new, the Black Album remastered on 100 year vinyl. So this is the Metallica's Black Album. And as you see, it's none more black. And I don't know where the guys from Metallica got the, you know, the idea for this record, although I'm pretty sure it was from Spinal Tap. None more black. So, uh, very cool. This album is was huge for Metallica. Um, they became basically, they went from being, you know, big popular metal stars to basically pop stars. Not that that album is a pop album. It's still a heavy metal album still, but, I mean, they just exploded well beyond, you know, to metal fans and to just everyday rock and pop fans with that album. This next one's awesome. I wanted to own this forever, and I just haven't got around to buying it. This is um, Gary Moore's tribute to Hendrix. Gary Moore, Blues for Jimmy. And this is a gatefold special guest appearance by Mitch Mitchell and Billy Cox of the Jimmy Hendrix experience. That's awesome. So what's on here? Purple Haze, Manic Depression, Foxy Lady, The Wind Cries Mary, I Don't Live Today, My Angel, 
Angel, Fire, Red House, Stone Free, Hey Joe, and Voodoo Child's Slight Return. Recorded live in London at the Hippodrome in 2007. Of course, Gary Moore is no longer with us. He's passed on to eternity. All right, next we have Bird Dance by the Emeralds. <laughs> Dude, I have no clue what this is. Hi, honey. Not going to say hi? <laughs> um, all right. Next up, this is um, this is awesome. He, he actually found this one used and I and showed it online. And this is like I'm a I'm just a Raven fanatic. I love this band. I've seen them live, gosh, five times over the over my lifetime so far. And um, this is their um, Break the Chain EP, which is a uh, one five one two three four five six song EP, including Break the Chain, Born to Be Wild, which is one of the most wild covers ever, Inquisitor, Rock Hard, Wiped Out, and the Battle of the Marshall Stack. But here's the thing about this one, and I'm hoping, let's see, here. it's a little dirty, but I'll clean it up. Um, but yeah, this is um on the Bonsai label, and Bonsai stuff is highly collectible. Um, and being a Raven fanatic and a collector of bonsai, when he showed it, I was like, you know, <laughs> jaw to the ground. I'm like, man, that's so freaking awesome. Um, so I'm really happy and, and really um, humbled that he sent it to me. That's very cool of him. Because, uh, yeah, you, you know, uh, bonsai is a, is a, is a um, Canadian label, but um, it, there's bonsai collectors all over the world because they had so much cool metal stuff on that label. And they always had the same, you know, that same... Japanese looking label so uh, very cool I'm this is I'm stoked about this and then finally <laughs> the Osmonds love me for a reason they're looking pretty badass right there you know God I love you some Osmonds of course you know being the uh, the Donnie collector that I am you know this is the kind of stuff I live for so <laughs> all right and it looks like there's two more things in here that's, that's funny. All right. I, there was a blanket in there, and I picked a blanket up, something fell out. But here's your blanket. Where is it? Is it upside down? Why can't I figure this out? There it is. It's my wife's favorite team. Not my team. Like I said, I can't stand them. But she will love this. So <laughs> this will be going to my wife. The... The uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, and then what fell out is the uh, Michael Jackson sequin glove and face masks. <laughs> That's hilarious. It cracks me up, man. Um, that's funny. So there you go, Michael Jackson. So that's my. Uh, huge box and that's my mail video for today hope you all enjoyed it that was a long one uh leave a message below D make sure you check out uh greg's channel which i said like i said is blackmore rules uh we'll leave a link below if i can remember to do that i try to always remember to do that and uh thanks again greg i always appreciate your packages they always cheer me up have a great day god bless stay strong